Do you want to find out how it went from looking like this to looking like this in just about two months? Well, you're watching The Perfect Vlog. Keep tuning in and find out how I lost the weight and turned into the ultimate body guy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so we are here uh, at Body Guy Gym. And uh, this week's vlog is gonna be me kind of explaining, oh, I almost tripped there. No, I got a pimple. Plan for today is to kind of explain to everybody how I've lost the weight, what my workouts have been, uh, what exactly my diet has been. Well, exactly as best as I can describe it because first things first, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a personal trainer, I am not uh, a dietitian, uh, not a scientist, um, not even a bodybuilder. I don't know anything. I literally don't know anything. Last uh, Christmas, my wife got me a personal trainer who wrote out my diet for me and gave me a bunch of tips. Those tips helped me decide what I was gonna do uh, during quarantine to be able to lose the weight and stuff like that. So um, I've been using, I guess, knowledge that I've picked up throughout my entire life, but really, I don't know what the f I'm doing. So take all of this information with a grain of salt first thing I did this morning, I take this stuff called Clear Muscle, um, helps muscle growth and recovery. Uh, I also took um, a fat burner. Literally guys, I get the cheapest and the quickest delivery on Amazon. I'm not picky. I'm not spending a bunch of money. Uh, the only thing I really throw money into is my protein powder, just because I have a uh, very low tolerance for chalky, disgusting uh, <laughs> drinks. I'm a big texture person, so uh, I spend quite a bit on my protein powder, but it's very good quality stuff and it tastes delicious. So to me, that's worth it. That's one of my very select meals of the day. This is just the beginning of the day. So uh, we're gonna do probably 30 to 35 minutes of cardio today, realistically. Uh, I'm not going super crazy. I have the TV tapings coming up in a couple days, so. Uh, I'm kind of just trying to maintain all the hard work I did up until this point. So I'm not trying to overexert myself or potentially injure myself. But anyways, so we're gonna do about 30 to 35 minutes of cardio. We try and hit about 300 calories uh, minimum every single day on the bike. Then we work out. I've said this before, but I have a theory that if I'm exhausted at the end of a match, uh, I should still be able to safely um, pick up and put down my opponents and perform wrestling moves and whatever trick off the top or stun uh, Ethan Page wants to do 20, 30 minutes into a match. So that is my theory behind burning myself out and then lifting weights uh, and also skipping in between. So um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some cardio, then some skipping, then we do four workouts of my choosing that day and I just make it up. So there is no workout. I just try and hit different body parts every single day. So. In this instance today, uh, yesterday I worked out chest with my uh, dad. So today I'll probably do some back exercises, um, maybe a little bicep exercises, but nothing crazy. I try and hit abs every single day too. Um, and again, I only have up to 50 pounds per hand. So max weight I could do for like a deadlift is 100 pounds or a bench press is 100 pounds. So uh, 100 is my max and I've been able to genuinely transform my body without having that much weight. So yeah, uh, anything is possible. So let's do this cardio. doing cardio I drink this it has a little creatine little BCAAs some glutamine for my belly oh pre-workout <laughs> um, so this is what gets me through on an empty stomach because I'm not 
uh, eating anything before I have this pretty excruciating workout. I uh, make sure I'm putting something in my body. Sometimes I'll even put like a carb supplement in here. Um, I just ran out, so haven't been able to grab another one since, but uh, yeah. So I'll down this, we've got about 15, 20 more minutes of this, and then we'll start with the weights and the skipping. And then I'll get into my diet and let you guys know what I've been eating. But technically this is my first meal after my pills and supplements. Um, this bad boy right here. But after all this hard work, we get rice cakes. out here especially today oh Jesus Workout complete. Now my favorite part of the day. My favorite part of the day is uh, my rice cakes. And today I feel like I have earned a little bit of peanut butter, a little sugar in my system. I love me some dark roast peanut butter. It's the bomb. All right, so uh, right now is the uh, protein shake after the workout. Try and get some protein into your muscles um, to recover. Uh, which is, we've got this, this is my favorite stuff, uh, diesel. We got that. I just throw it straight in water. I don't like using milk. Um, it's harder for your body to digest. So I try to avoid mixing any of my fats with any of my sugars. So to keep it simple, if you're having carbohydrates, do not have fats, which means milk, cheese, um, nuts, uh, and in like high doses, like I'm, I'm about to have a little bit of peanut butter on these rice cakes. Technically I'm mixing a little bit of fat with the peanut butter, but I'm treating it as a sugar source, <laughs> my peanut butter. But yeah, so with this, I'll have, um, two rice cakes for after right to go right to my body, right to my system and, uh, then shower and then lunch, uh, lunch usually is chicken and rice like nine times out of 10, it's chicken and rice. So that's probably what we're gonna have today. But yeah, and then uh, for dinner, again, we'll probably have chicken, but I will not have a carb. So for me, making sure that I eat all of my carbohydrates either around or right after my workout is extremely important. Um, again, to replenish my body, feed my muscles, and I'm actually using the carbs as an energy source. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, you see that? That goodness, that's what I have to look forward to every day. Mmm. That's right, good. So we are done with my tan and my haircut. We're ready to go to TV. We're ready to go for impact. Um, but August 18th is the day that I will be celebrating all of my hard work with my giant 24 hour cheat day. And I need to pick up a couple goodies at Walmart uh, because when I get back, I'm gonna probably have to quarantine, I assume. So yeah, wanna make uh, sure I don't break the rules too much. And uh, we pick up all the good stuff now. So Walmart, here we come.
what's up? What up? This is shooting the Indies. We're on the vlog. It's a vlog. And uh, now we're shooting <laughs> I'll figure it out the superstars day. in their homes. Welcome to my episode. Every time I help, the price goes down. <laughs> <laughs> So essentially when it comes to like a full day diet, it doesn't change whether I work out or not. I literally try to do the same workout every single day. So the empty stomach cardio right into the lifting, um, right into the rice cakes and protein powder, uh, then a shower for good hygiene, then lunch, which is usually meat and carbs. Uh, so mine is usually rice and chicken, or if you literally, you could have potatoes and beef. This is where you have your carbohydrates. Just avoid breads and stuff like that. I try and do potato or rice, uh, one or the other. Then dinner is usually like five, 5.30, and then this is no carbs, only meat and vegetables. Then nothing. If I'm starving at like 9 p.m., I will have one pepperette the meat stick <laughs> to tide me down and then go to bed repeat 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 i cannot stress enough how much uh skipping has helped helped my cardio and i think it really pushed my body to shed the fat so skipping is the one thing i can't suggest enough and being consistent is also another thing uh and also i wouldn't cheat every week i think if it's within a week once a week is like a, uh, it's a routine. It's a regular thing. You can expect it. If you book your cheat day two weeks in advance, you start working towards it. You give yourself that 24 hour window and you abuse it. And when I say abuse it, I mean, you try and shoot for 10,000 calories. You have everything in that one day that you dreamt of and salivated over for those two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever, whatever goal you want to set. I would just do it longer than a week. Do not make your cheat day part of your routine. Make it a goal, make it a reward and work towards it. For this TV taping, I lost the most weight. I looked the best I ever have and I gave myself a four week window. Uh, so August 18th will actually be my insane cheat day. So that's it. That's all I have to tell you guys. That's, there's no secret. Uh, there's no special formula special pill i just try and eat really clean food and get at least eight hours of sleep a day and when i do work out i work out as hard as i can that's it and on my cheat days i go hard because i earned it and you can too uh, a lot of people have been saying i've been motivating them and uh that's worth more than uh a purchase of a t-shirt and stuff like that um i mean obviously played by julian.com if you want to support but uh yeah, it's uh, knowing that I've influenced people in a positive way. That's literally all I've ever wanted out of wrestling. So it's cool to kind of start getting a little bit of that back. And uh, it means the world. So if this motivates you or helps you uh, in any way, leave it in the comments and let me know. Because it makes me feel good about myself. And it's okay to tell people that you want to feel good about yourself. Because I do. Don't you